What's going on guys, Superdoster9, and welcome back to another fantastic data pack video. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to get some rare structures to spawn into our custom village that we're building, utilizing jigsaw blocks. And we're also going to spawn in some extra houses like you can see back there behind me. So without further ado, let's start uh, getting into it. Wait, I forgot. Before we get crazy, I do want to say that I added a section in the Discord strictly for data packs. So if you're interested and want to join a community that is building data packs and helping out each other, definitely head down to the description below. Click on my Discord link and join us there. I also made all of the packs available that I'm currently working on for the tutorials for download inside the Discord as well. So definitely check that out. All right, so to get started, you want to create a street that is going to be responsible for calling our rare structures down here and spawning it in on this end. So as you can see, I basically just copied the structure block from over there, brought it down here so that we had another straight piece of road. I added these lanterns on top, so then that way it kind of gives us some in-game bug fixing. We know that this road is responsible for the rare structures to spawn. So if it have been issues, we know, you know, is this road spawning in? Is it spawning in the rare structure? we can quickly visually identify this road um, but yeah so quickly to go over the jigsaw blocks on this end right here you just want to run over to this guy and control and middle mouse wheel and you can do this at any of the previous connection points uh, from the other episode and what that does is copy the data that's in this jigsaw block uh, completely and puts it and populates it into your inventory as you can see when we throw this one down it is going to exactly match all of this data with this one that is in here and then you just want to throw it down here on this side so then that way when these guys uh, spawn they have a chance to call this road in and they will make their connection point between the jigsaw blocks so on this end this is where the important magic happens um, this one's gonna be changing up a little bit so you just get a jigsaw block and in our case I've already got this pre set up but what we're going to be doing here is we're, we're calling on our namespace here and then uh, village underscore cherry for slash rare underscore buildings. This is going to be our JSON file that is going to be located in our template pool in VS Code. You guys will see that here uh, shortly. So we're kind of preemptively setting it up for uh, that JSON file that we're going to be building here in a few minutes. So that's all you have to do for this part. And then on these two sections, the name and the target name, we are just going to be changing this from, I think in the previous episode for the, the regular houses that are spawning, I called it building entrance. We're going to name this one rare underscore building entrance. You want to make sure that both of these are named exactly the same. All right. So for our first structure here, they're both going to primarily be the same. We'll go take a look at the other one. But if you remember from last episode, so with the little houses, there's nothing different from the little house to this other than the fact that we are changing it to rare building entrance right here because we're specifically on our rare street making that call for the rare building entrance at the uh, other end, the far end down there. So that's literally all you have to do in, in this uh, jigsaw block. Now, the other thing I do want to point out as well, if you are making big structures and things like that, you do want to fill in the error. Uh, with a structure voids that way when this naturally spawns within your world if there's like a tree or some you know pile of dirt or something right here it's going to cut into that and then not affect your structure uh, I like that personally you can make other changes and stuff where you can like have the terrain bleed into this and stuff but sometimes it kind of like breaks your structures and stuff. So I just like to do this method. This is one thing I wanted to point out real quick. So let's go over here to this guy and take a look at the other rare structure. All right, so for this one, pretty straightforward, same thing. All you need is a jigsaw block here and um, this same exact rare building entrance inside of this. You can leave the target pools empty because it's not gonna make any extra calls. It's literally just basically an end piece at this point. So that's all you need for these two guys. And then what we'll do is go and check out the houses as well. All right, we're also going to be adding two variations to our resident structures inside of our epic village for our cherry blossom biome. As for the jigsaw block, same thing as common house one from the previous episodes. Literally just copy this jigsaw block, pasted it here. We're just calling a regular building entrance on this one. So this is also the same on that. There's no difference. One thing that I did forget to highlight on all of the pieces that I just reviewed. So that goes for the rare street, the two rare structures, and these two new houses is you want to make sure that as you're building your structures and doing all that stuff, 
make sure you are saving your NBT files. So that way, when we go into VS Code, we've already got all this stuff set up. We can just be moving it over into VS Code, and that's it. Uh, we're just strictly jumping into VS Code at this point forward. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside of VS Code. As you can see, I've already copied in to our residence folder here the house two and house three. And then inside of our streets folder, I have copied in the, uh, where to go? The street underscore rare right here. So we went over that in the last episode of how to get to these files and stuff. Luckily today though, uh, I forgot, we do need to actually make a rares folder for us, for our rare structures. So with that said, we're going to do that real quick. So what you need to do is in our case, inside of the structure folder, you wanna make sure that your, uh, in my case, village cherry folder is underlined. We're going to create a new folder like that. And I'm going to name this one rares because it's gonna hold all the rare structures. And then inside of this one, I am going to uh, select it and create another folder. And we are gonna call this one buildings. All right, so with that said, let's jump over to the file explorers and get these things copied in to our VS code. All right, so to get to the generated folder where we have these MBT files at from our structure blocks, you want to navigate to where you have your world saves at your in your Minecraft folder. So we're gonna go to saves, in my case is build worlds, and then we're going to generated, and then epic villages and structures. And then in here, you can see all of them right here. So we have a rare temple one and two. I'm going to select both of those and copy those. And then we're gonna jump over to the other file explorer and paste those into our VS code. All right, so we're gonna start back at where our world saves are at inside of our Minecraft folder. We're gonna go to saves and then build world. And then in this case, we're gonna go to data packs and then epic villages because this is where we're working with our VS code. We're building our data pack here. And then we're gonna go to data, epic villages, structures, village cherry. And then here's our rares folder. Here's our buildings folder. And then we are just gonna paste these guys in there with some control V. There we go. So now when we go back to VS Code, we should see these populated inside of our environment. All right, so here we are inside of VS Code, and as you can see, we have these things populated here inside of our environment. So awesome. Now we can move into creating um, all of our extra JSON files and things that we need to spawn these guys in. So let's get started with that. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with the buildings.json file. This isn't going to be handling any of the rare structures. This is only going to be adding in the extra residence houses that I was talking about. Um, the reason why I want to start here is because we already kind of have this set up and it's just going to be real quick. So with that said, I'm going to copy and paste into here. I've preemptively set this up to speed up the tutorial. A lot of you guys were yelling at me in the Discord about that. Where are you copying and pasting this from? So... With that said, I do want to remind you that in the links down below, I do have my Discord. All of this stuff is available for download on there, so you can go download all of these files, and if you need help setting up or wanting to just review how this stuff works, you can get those files and everything's good to go, and you can copy and paste that right into your own stuff, man. It's totally awesome. So with that said, let's get this stuff in here. I'm going to delete this stuff out and copy and paste in. This is all preemptively set up. So the only thing that's going to be changing is these location sections here. We need to be adding some stuff in. So we just need to copy and paste. It's super easy. Just boom, boom, and boom, like so. And then we need to, if you remember, let's go to residences. We just need to update it for these two NBT files. So we're just adding two like that and three like that and we are good to go i've already got this pre-weighted as well so this will work uh, as is so with that said let's jump into the uh, rare structures all right so we're going to come back down here in template pool again village cherry make sure that is underlined we're going to add a new file and we're going to call this rare underscore buildings and this is going to handle our rare buildings you should recognize this from the jigsaw block this is what it was trying to target so this is that json file so what i'm going to do is copy and paste this in like i said this is available for download in my discord so if you want to check on this json uh, configuration and stuff like that you can download those files there so inside of here we've pasted this in and we just need to um add some stuff in here so in the name up here in between the quotations we are going to go epic villages, and then we're gonna do our semicolon or colon, village cherry, and then forward slash rare, and then underscore building. So all this is doing is pointing at itself. 
Um, and then now we need to specify the location where our actual buildings it's trying to spawn in are located in our files. So in this case, it's going to be right here. So we need to type in epic villages and then colon village cherry forward slash rares forward slash buildings forward slash uh, we'll start with rare temple one and we've got that. So then now what we can do is copy this and we're just going to paste this guy right here in between these two quotations on the location and we're going to update this to temple two and we are good to go with that. Now what we're going to do is move into our streets.json from the previous episode and we are going to add our rare street that we created in game. Now this one's going to be easy. All you need to do is copy this here and we are going to paste this guy in. Let's just copy and then just need a, uh, I think, yeah, we can just do that and we are good to go. So now we just need to change this. So how we are going to do that is it needs to point to our rare street, which is right here. So all we need to update is literally street underscore and then rare. And then that is it. So we're going to mess around with the weights. Um, this isn't how you're going to set it up, I guess. Uh, what you see here might be how you set it up with the current weight system. Um, but for our uh, testing purposes, I'm going to bump this to five. That way, this one's going to be more likely to spawn than pretty much anything else. And we should be able to see some of the structures being uh, spawned from that. And then which case, if that is the case, we will come back into here and then reweight this back down to a lower weight because obviously this is supposed to be rare. We don't want it to be spawning in all of the time. So with all that said, we're going to go up here to file and save all and we should be good to go. Let's jump into our Minecraft world and see if this works. All right, so here we are back in our Minecraft world. I do want to say that if you left your Minecraft world open while you were making the changes in VS Code, um, you want to make sure that you disconnect from that world and then re-log back into that world so then Minecraft properly applies all of the changes. When you mess with generations, sometimes that can cause issues if you just try to jump right back in here after you mess in VS Code and save it all and then try to load in or place, in our case, the village. We might not see the spawning until you actually log out of the world and log back in. So that's another tip. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to do four slash place and then structure and then epic villages underscore cherry for us. And we're going to spawn that in and hopefully we should see our rare structure spawning in. Look at that. Beautiful. So we've got uh, a few spawning in here. Like I said, we made this road super common. So it's going to be spawning the most, as you can see, and uh, quickly identifying that these are the uh, rare roads right here dropping in with all of these lanterns being placed. So like this one right here didn't spawn because it didn't have enough room, which is pretty cool. So I love how Minecraft figures all this stuff out. All right, so that is it for this data pack video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If so, please hit the like button for the love of bacon if you know what I'm saying. And also, like I said previously, if you're looking for a community that is building data packs and stuff like that, head over to my Discord. Link is located in the description below. All of this stuff is made available for download, all the tutorial videos that I'm doing. So you can uh, download the files and copy slash compare whatever you need to do to do your troubleshootings and things. Other than that, that is it. Be safe, be kind, know that you're appreciated, and I will catch you in the next one. Also, don't forget to change the weights. <laughs>